What's up, super cool dudes? It's your favorite brand YouTuber, Muhammad Abdullahi, with another episode of Muhammad's Items, bringing you the recap of the just ended keynote of WWDC 2012. There has been so many announcements and so much information that I will not be able to push everything into one video. So look forward to another videos coming very, very soon. But let's start with all the hardware that Apple announced at this awesome keynote. They refreshed the MacBook lineup. Yes, you hear that correctly. With two configurations of the 11 inch and two configurations of the 13 inch MacBook Air with a bump in the CPU and GPU. The same has happened to the 15 inch and the 13 inch MacBook Pro. A bump in the CPU and GPU. But Apple also announced a third category of MacBook Pro, which is also the screen release date of 15.4 inch, but this concedes a retina pixel density, which means quadruple more pixels, and every pixel in and of itself is 1080p. This will deliver an awesome screen real estate. We all know that Apple already prepared Mac OS X to run on a retina display awesomely, and they said that they already upgraded the mail category apps, Safari, iTunes, and a lot of more apps for this stunning display. Third party apps with a little bit of tinkering will be able to show the same real estate on this beautiful screen. This laptop also comes with standard flash storage. They also done away with the Ethernet port and the Super Drive. Instead of that, they pushed all the MacBooks, including the Airs and the other Pros, with USB 3. But the new MacBook Pro, instead of having one Thunderbolt port, got two, and it's got a thinner designed MagSafe connector. This MacBook Pro would also have the awesome battery life of seven hours. Since Apple dropped the optical drive and the Ethernet port, the device is significantly thinner and they say that this is the best notebook Apple ever had made. As we all know, Apple already debuted Mac OS 10.8 Mountain Lion last February, but today they actually announced a few more features. Yes, we all know that iCloud has been the best feature of last year's WWDC, but Apple was not done with it yet. They upgraded it so much that iCloud will be working seamlessly with your iOS devices and your Mac. The following apps will be included in iCloud. Mail, Notification Center, Reminders, Notes, Documents in the Cloud, which is a new feature, which enables to edit all your documents, be it on your Mac or iOS devices, and of course, Game Center. You are now able to play from your iPhone against the Mac against the iPad with Game Center. Unifying your Game Center account from iOS and Mac OS X into one, which enables you to play each and every game. This was not everything. One of the main features is Siri speech to text for the Mac. Yes, you heard me correctly. By just pushing one button, you'll be able to speak to your Mac. And long and behold, there is a text on the screen. Twitter, as we already expected, is heavily integrated in Mac OS X Mountain Lion. By just entering your Twitter handle and password one time, it will never ask you again and will work with third-party apps. If all of this Apple goodness was not enough for us, Apple also showed us a preview of iOS 6. Yes, you heard it correctly. In iOS 6, Siri will play a major role. It will be updated to know everything about sports, individuals. It will tell you about which kind of movies you are playing next to your area. It will be able to open applications for you and it will be able to make reservations for you at certain restaurants. As we all were expecting, Apple presented its own new awesome 3D Maps feature, which also be integrated with Siri. Now when you are driving, you are able to ask Siri where the next tank station is to get some fuel or gas. And they added turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and it will actually speak to you with the voice of Siri. Before we wrap this video up, I want to give a huge shout out to Jonathan from TLD. He liked my last video and shared it with all of you guys and that's why I have a lot of new subscribers and views. Thank you Jonathan, I really appreciate the time that you took to answer also my tweets on Twitter. I wish you all the best recovering from your illness. Thank you for watching this episode of Muhammad's iTips. I would like to ask everybody who is watching this video to please give me a like on this video. If you want to see more of my mug, be sure to subscribe to Muhammad's iTips. If you have any questions about anything that I said in this video, be sure to leave it in the comments down below or tweet me at Mohammed's iTips. Be sure to spam this video to your friends by using Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I am your favorite blind YouTuber, and I'm signing off.